Uh, Bortles here at the 250th YCS of Los Angeles. Oh, we've got the boys here. Yeah, I know. Here. What up, Bortles? What What's up? And uh, well, please introduce yourself to the world, man. Yeah, my name is Jacob Banuelos. I just want to shout out my store. I own a store in El Paso, Texas. It's TCG Battleground. They were OTS sanctioned. I mean, we're like the, the Yu-Gi-Oh store. I played Blue Andarese. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. A lot of people say that they didn't expect this deck to do well and uh, that they thought this deck was dead, but I don't know. I, I think the deck is still really strong. I think the engine, like the recursion is still really strong on the deck too, so. Mm -hmm. so, so fourth place, right? Fourth place? Yeah, I got fourth place. I uh, played in top four, lost the top four feature match, and then uh, played uh, the three four match, and I lost to Shun Ping Zhu. So, no prize card, but I mean, I'll probably do better next time. There's a lot of people today, so. Yeah, Long 30, days. 200, you're not joking. See, y'all need very stashy to win. Yeah, there's like 3,200 people. It has a good Kash Tira matchup, and I just didn't play a lot of Kash against a lot of Kash Tira. There's a lot of rogue today. Okay, cool. Without further ado, would you like to show us the top mm -hmm. four goo? Yeah, it's typical stuff. Three Robina, three Mpen, two Street. I'm sorry, three Eglin, two Street, one two Can. Those are the little birds. Uh, you have to play two of this because I play one Jack in the hand. Oh, okay. And then uh, it's just you need to see birds. You, see, you need to see little birds. I play one of this. I mean, sorry, two of these, one of this. This card's really good because uh, it, it, it beats cash. You, yeah, you need to have, cause it. So this one's searchable off of like the quick play spell, which is great, cause like you need to be able to like summon it and, uh, like the Eglin will get you like one, uh, big bird per turn, but the quick play spell gets you a second one, or the map will get you a second one when you need it. But uh, M, M pin isn't always what you want. Sometimes like sometimes you need this one so that way you have disruption on their turn, mm -hmm. and then you have this, and then you have this. Rise actually has, doesn't come up very often anymore. Like, it, I maybe like summoned it like three or four times and actually used it throughout the tournament. Oh, but the best one's definitely Avian. Like, Avian's really good. I mean, I summon Empen uh, every game, but Avian is the second best one. Three of these, three of these, three duality. And then uh, uh, there's there's no prosperity. I don't play an extra deck. There's, oh. there's no extra deck. Yeah, because uh, if you don't play an extra deck, you can't get zone locked by cash. It does reduce your consistency a bit, but um yeah i the only thing i worry about is like getting five zone locks because that's just really, really annoying and i don't play like hand traps in the main so except for imperm but i don't use imperm to on my opponent's turn i use it i, I usually hold it but yeah no no prosperities it does mess with the consistency but i mean it's usually fine i play two of these this card's really good it's good going first to fix bad hands it's good going second to like break boards play two of these and two of these these are like more of like the to replace like prosperity i mean you can't really replace prosperity it's like the most consistent card in the whole game but it's good going first ish and it's really good going second this card is insane going second so is this but and these are all really good going second then nobody saw those cards coming oh they never do they never do this card is amazing because you can literally you always search what you need because like uh, when you're going second, you search like evenly or whatever you need to break the board. Or if you already have like the evenly and stuff, you can search like terraforming. You can search like your jack in the hand so that way you can get your bird. Just things like that. Uh, it's it's just thrust is really good. And uh, I think it's fine at two. I did think about going to, to three for a while, but I think it's fine at two. And then, yeah, like I said, these are the one ofs just for uh, consistency. This card is actually insane. I was trying to find another card that could be like Upstar Goblin where it's just like kind of like a passive card which is like activate it and then draw a card something like into the void obviously i'm not gonna play into the void but this card is really insane because you need to be able to force your opponent to like because a lot of cash players they end on like a rise heart pass but if you go like upstart goblin draw a card gets banished and then they're forced to you know equip something and then you can go like talents and take it mm -hmm. so you need to force them to like use a uh, rise heart without like actually using something like a map effect or something duality does the same thing jack in the hand things like that where you're just like passive cards and then the traps yeah good stuff. and then like i said there's no extra deck so just the side what's the uh, main deck count uh the main deck's 40. 40. i mean i play up sorry yeah it has to be 40. <laughs> three ash uh, i was maining this for a while but like i'm playing so many like i'm playing more of a board breaker build so uh ash kind of was wasn't really doing what i wanted it to do so i took it out of the main put it in the side what happens a lot is you go first and then like you'll put like the trap and like you know like the map and pin and like people won't want to like show you what they're playing so they'll just scoop 
and I won't usually know what to put in, so I'll usually take out a couple cards, put in a couple of ashes. Uh, and this card's also insane against Branded. Uh, I usually don't put this in against Cash, actually. Uh, unless, like, maybe I'm going first. It's, it's, a, it's a weird card. Two Droll always goes in against Cash. Two Nibs. These are just, like, for Rogue decks, and it always comes up. This is for your Labyrinth matchup, your Trap Tricks matchup. I like that. Oh, goodness. I didn't actually, <laughs> I didn't play against a single Labyrinth or Trap Tricks, but this card is really good if you go first. This, this card cooks Trap Tricks. You, they cannot, they can't out it. This, it absolutely cooks them. And then, <laughs> this. Oh my god, oh, man, the traffic. I think the only complaint about the side would probably be I didn't have enough going first cards. I probably would need like, I probably should have played two more of these. I just, I figured like I played two thrusts so I can get to this, but oh, I definitely should have played more of this. I mean, this card was amazing. And then this card uh, overperformed. It's better than Cosmic Cyclone for this deck because uh, like Labyrinth and decks like that, they always side Iron Wall in. Uh, and if you're like, because you always go into grinding games against them. So if you're in top deck mode where you need to like get the back row out, and they have an iron wall up for like two or three turns and you draw like a cosmic you can't out it but if you draw this then you can pop the, the iron wall and out it and uh how's the tree though decree yeah decree's fine actually like i said i didn't play against any back row decks to, uh, it was all combos and annoying you know make a board and put up a bunch of negates so i really didn't get to uh you know but in testing like when i played online and stuff it always came up so so how did you come along with that extra deck idea because that just blew my mind that you told me to finish I, I, I do a lot of testing i play online a lot and uh i just whenever i play online um uh, you know kashira they do like the five board negate stuff and um yeah whenever when i don't have an extra deck and i play against kashira like online and play testing with my boys and at locals and stuff they, they don't have a good board that they can end on so they have to do like more of a control version and then you don't it, care it, about that. Yeah. Like that yeah. Year, like whatever. Yeah, Bird has a good matchup against Cash. That's crazy. Did you have any other shout outs, man? Yeah, shout out shout out all my boys over here. Uh, the El Paso. Hey, hey, it's like go. 11 o'clock right now, 11 p.m. and they're, they're still here, yeah. Uh, we supported you, bro. Yeah, for sure. Uh, shout out to everyone who supported me. Shout out to everyone in Fayetteville that supported me. Um, shout, yeah, like I said. Oh, Valentin said that if I didn't give him a shout out, he'd be pissed. So, <laughs> okay, shout out to Valentin and shout out the the person I uh, like really play for the most is my little brother. Oh, yeah, I look forward to playing with him. And you know, even though we do well or don't do well, I mean, I have the most fun and I have the most enjoyment playing with Aaron. So shout out to you, and then shout out to my wife. I mean, I love my wife. Oh, yeah, oh and lastly, points. like I said, TCG yeah. Battleground. This is the store I own. It's in El Paso. If you guys ever get the chance, check it out. Or check us out on TCG Play. Got an address? Yeah, 1700 North Zaragoza Road. Yeah, we'll put it in the description. We got you. We got you. Uh, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations being crazy plunderies and top points. Thank you for the deck. Appreciate it.